Hello everyone, this is lecture 16. In that lecture, I explain you the concept of convergency of sequence and series. Okay, sequence and series. First, you have to know the basic concept of sequence and series. So, what's a sequence? Sequence, we can say a sequence is an arrangement of any object or the set of numbers in a particular order followed by some rules. So, if you take A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. These are denoted the term of sequence. It can be the number and anything. Here, the A1, 2, 3. These are denote the position of that particular element or a number. So, a sequence can be defined based on the number of terms. That is either it is finite so we can say it's a finite sequence and the number of terms are infinite so we can say it's an infinite sequence now what's a series so series when we say the series so series is what if we suppose a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on is a sequence then the corresponding series is given by write this a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on a n means we operate an operation between two elements of the sequence then it is a series and it may be the addition or subtraction. So we have to note what the series is finite or infinite. It depends if the sequence is finite or infinite. If the above sequence is infinite number of terms it means then we can say the sequence is infinite and the series which is formed by the by that sequence then it is a infinite if it contain the infinite number of numbers difference between sequence and series means a sequence can be differentiated with series so a sequence if you say a sequence so set of element in the sequence it follow a particular pattern and in series is what is sum of element of the sequence in sequence order of element is important but in the series order of element is not important because if we have a sequence series 1 plus 2 plus 3 we can write 2 plus 1 plus uh, 2 plus 1 plus 3 and so on but in a sequence we can write 1 2 3 and so on element each element have a, a fixed position so in sequence the order order of element is important but in the series is not important a sequence finite sequence is what if we have a element 1 2 3 4 5 these are finite sequence and finite series is same 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 and when we say the infinite sequence it is 1 2 3 4 and so on and in finite series is what 1 2 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus and so on so on now we talk about the convergency of a sequence so convergency what do you mean by convergence suppose a sequence we take a sequence xn here this is a notation xn and we write the curly brackets is said to be converged to a real number says l if for each an epsilon there is a very small quantity which is greater than 0 then there exists a positive number says m such that xn minus l mod is less than epsilon for all n is greater than equal to m so here we can write what when xn tends to a l as when n tends to infinity or we can write limit xn when n tends to infinity so we get l a finite number so we can say that sequence is convergent now what is divergence so if a sequence xn is said to be divergent if the limit n tends to infinity xn is not finite it means that is limit xn when n tends to infinity we get plus infinity or we can say minus infinity so that type of sequence is what is divergent here the, that xn is what is represent the any term you have to remember it now oscillatory sequence is what a sequence xn which is neither converge to a finite number and not diverge so that type of sequence is called oscillatory sequences now take an example here so we take a three examples the first one we take a sequence that is xn is equal to n square 
so we have to check this sequence is convergent or not or divergent so for that we find the limit n tends to infinity xn and limit n tends to infinity that is n square so what we get when we find the limit of that we get infinite means which is not finite so we can say hence the given sequence that is xn is what divergent here you can also understand by that concept by the graph suppose we have this is the limit we can say this is the infinity and suppose we can say we have a sequence whose behavior is like this and when we put n is equal to infinity so what we observe that at it infinity the sequence is what diverge or so we can say the sequence is divergent now take an another example that are we take a other sequence that is 1 upon 2 power n where n is what belongs to natural numbers then we check the limit limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2 power n here when we substitute n tends to infinity we get 1 by 2 power infinity and we get infinite and something about infinity we get 0 means a finite quantity now we can say the given sequence is what xn is what is convergent because at infinity we get a finite value it means the behavior of the sequence is like the sequence is suppose that one suppose this is 0 when n tends to infinity it approaches to a 0 so we can say the given sequence is what is convergent now we take the third example that is we take another sequence that is xn minus 1 power n n belongs to natural number so when we find the limit at infinity of that function or we can say of that sequence minus 1 power n so what we get we get either minus 1 and plus 1 means if n is odd so we get minus 1 if n is even we get plus 1 so hence we can say the given sequence is oscillating now what is infinite series so if we have a sequence un we have sequence of real number we say then the sum of infinite number of term of that particular sequence and the expression u1 plus u2 plus u3 and so on up to un and up to infinity is defined as infinite series and is denoted by sn sn is what summation n equal to 1 to infinity un or we just write simply summation un this summation un or we say sn is represent the sum of n term of that series means if we add the first n term of that series then we denoted by sn or just write summation un here that sn is what mean if we write s1 it means it is u1 if we write s2 it means u1 plus u2 if we write s3 so we write u1 plus u2 plus u3 and so on if we write s4 so we write u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u4 and the similar way we write the s1 s5 s6 and so on now we discuss the convergency of a series so convergent series is what we can say a series summation un or sometimes we say sn is said to be convergent if the sum of first n term of that series tends to a finite value or unique we can say unique as limit n tends to infinity here it means if we add a finite number of terms of the converge uh, of the series so we get a finite or 
unique limit that is we can say that is in mathematical term we write limit when n tends to infinity sn sn is what the sum of first n term of the series is get finite and unique then we say we say the sequence oh sorry series summation un is convergent so now we discuss the divergency of a series or say divergent series similarly a series un is said to be divergent if the sum of the first n term of the series tends to a plus infinity or minus infinity as n tends to infinity that is we can say if limit sn n tends to infinity we get plus infinity or minus infinity so we say summation un the given series is what divergent now oscillating series so here in the series there are oscillating finitely or infinitely so when we say the oscillating finitely so we can say a series un is said to be oscillating oscillatory finite if the sum of first n term of the series tends to a finite but not unique as n tends to infinity that is we can say limit n tends to infinity sn is what finite but not unique so we can say the given series un is what oscillated oscillatory finite then oscillate infinitely so a series un is said to be oscillate infinite if the sum of first n term of the series oscillate as n tends to infinity that is limit n tends to infinity sn is what plus infinity or we can say minus infinity both then sequence series un is what is oscillate infinitely here we have to note that the convergency of the divergency of the finite series is not affected by altering adding or neglecting the finite number of term of the series now the necessary condition for convergency so the necessary condition for positive term series that is un un is what positive term series to converge is that the limit n tends to infinity un is what we get zero so we can say is converge if limit n tends to infinity un is equal to zero but you have to remember that summation un is what positive term series then this is this is what this is a necessary condition but this is not sufficient condition here Cauchy gives the fundamental test of divergency that is if limit n tends to infinity un is not equal to zero that un is what is the n term of that series then the series summation un is what is divergent so Cauchy gave the fundamental test of divergency so you have to remember if the limit n tends to infinity un is not equal to zero that un is what the nth term of the series then that series is divergent here you have to note that if limit n tends to infinity un is zero so we are not sure about whether the series is un is convergent or not but if the limit n tends to infinity un is not equal to zero then we show that the series is what divergent now we take example we have to check the convergency of that given series we have given a series 1 plus 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 4 plus 4 upon 5 and so on up to infinity here the nth term is what that is n upon n plus 1 so first we write the nth term of that series that is n upon n plus 1 now check the limit 
n tends to infinity of that un that is limit n tends to infinity n upon n plus 1 so after applying the limit so here all of you know that the, how to find the limit of that function so we take n as a common limit n tends to infinity we can write 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n then apply the limit so what we get we get 1 upon 1 plus 0 that is 1 so here hence we can say by Cauchy test we can say summation un is what is divergent because the limit un when n tends to infinity is not equal to 0 now take another example we have a series and check the convergency of the series 1 upon 1 into 3 plus 1 upon 2 into 4 1 upon 3 into 5 and so on up to infinity so for check the convergency first we write the nth term of that series which is 1 upon n n plus 2 now check the limit at n tends to infinity un so the limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n n plus 2 so after applying the limit what we get 1 upon infinity we get 0 so here limit n tends to infinity un we get 0 so by the necessary condition necessary necessary condition for the convergency is what limit n tends to infinity un is equal to 0 so we can say the series un is convergent but this is not sufficient condition so for that to more clarify we study some test which will be studied in the next lecture thank you